Hi, I'm Dobra, and this is Parsha Truma, in memory of my mother, Meiti Bastovid Beryl. So what does Truma mean? It means contribution, donations. And Hashem is asking the Yidden to make donations of all the different kinds of materials that he needs to build a Mishkan, a tabernacle where his Shechina and his holy presence can dwell. So there's a Pasuk, a verse that says, build me a Mishkan and I will dwell in them. Wait a minute, dwell in them or dwell in it? Ah, it's no and yes. Yes, dwell in them, dwell in the heart of every Yid. Hashem is asking us to create in our heart a Mishkan for him to dwell. And actually, our heart corresponds to the Aron, the Ark that houses the Sapphire Stones, the Ten Commandments that we were given at Mount Sinai. So what are these different materials? There's 15 different materials that Hashem's requesting us to bring. And anyway, where do we have all these materials? Let's go into them. Gold, silver, copper, linen, goat's hair, dyed with techeles, aquamarine, and argamon, which is purple and scarlet. So these are different dyes that are gonna be used, cedar wood. So all these different materials are things that we brought with us when we left Mitzrayim. When we crossed the Yam Suf, the Red Sea, we also um, obtained wealth from what the Mitzrayim had um, fallen into the sea on their horses. We we got the wealth from all those, their carriages and gemstones. So all these are going to be used in building the Mishkan. It's going to be used for the Mishkan and also for the Kalim, the vessels in the Mishkan itself. So the Midrash says, that each of the kalim, the vessels in the Mishkan correspond to different body part, and that they're also a tikkun, a repair for something that we may have done in the past. Okay, so I'd like to focus on one um, of the materials and it's called a tachash. So what is the tachash? So the Meforshim say, that it was a very large animal that was kosher and it had a single horn and the skin was made of six different colors. A horn, yes, a unicorn, a kosher unicorn. So most um, opinions say that the tachash was specifically to be used in the Mishkan. And it miraculously appeared when it was needed and after the construction, it was hidden from the world. So it is used for the covering on the Mishkan and also as slip covers for the Holy Kalim. The Lubavitcher Rebbe says, our Rebbe says, that is the only creation that was used exclusively for Kedusha, for holy purposes. So what's our takeaway? So I think it's about creating tachash moments in our own lives. When we invite the holiness in, through our thoughts, through our speech, through our action, and maybe even specify, specify times and places in our inner Mishkan, and times to reveal, and also to reveal Mashiach. And actually, maybe we'll even be making clothes at some time in the Geula from Tachash skins for ourselves. Good Shabbos.